He's 27 years old, and you mentioned they're not really giving up anything. A couple of prospects that you wouldn't really think were on the Yankees' radar. And you think about this, and the Yankee lineup is criticized all the time for how right-handed dominant it is. So you bring in a lefty who Jack mentioned has hit 30-plus home runs three different years. He did it two years ago, not too long ago. So I wonder from a player's perspective, he signed a huge contract with the Texas Rangers. Things kind of went backwards quickly there. He gets released, and now he's got a new opportunity with the New York Yankees. You wonder at 27 years old if that's going to rejuvenate him. I also think about Luke Voigt, who came over from the Cardinals, and it was a great big reward for the New York Yankees. I'm not saying that's going to happen again, but when you can hit 30 home runs and you're left-handed, why not take a look? Yeah, no more hit or miss. There's no doubt about it. Let's get all the latest on this transaction from Meredith Morakovitz in the Clubhouse Report, brought to you by your local Ford stores. And Give us the latest details on Odor and how he can potentially impact the Yankees. Well, Bob, one thing we know right now, it's not expected that Rugnet Ordor, Ordor is going to be here in the Bronx this evening. He still needs to go through intake and pass all those COVID protocols prior to being added to the roster. But here's a look at exactly what transpired this afternoon. Flash, you mentioned it. The Rangers get a pair of prospects. The Yankees get cash considerations as well. It's expected that Texas is pretty much picking up all of the $27 million owed to Odor. Also noteworthy, Tyro Estrada was designated for assignment to make room for Odor on the 40-man roster. Now, he did have those 30-plus home run seasons, but the past couple of years have been a little bit rough for Odor. I asked Aaron Boone why he thinks he can turn things around in pinstripes. The talent is there, uh, we feel like, undeniable. He has the ability to really impact the ball. Obviously, from the left side at Yankee Stadium, you know, we feel like that could play up. And hopefully just, you know, getting in, you know, our environment, our, our culture, hopefully we'll um, unlock some things for him and, and we'll see. But, um, you know, first things first is we got to see where he's at, uh, you know, physically as far as, you know, what he's been doing, where he's at in his, you know, uh, Kind of getting built up, obviously, because he was DFA'd. So we got to see where he's at and what he's been doing, and and kind of evaluate him to go along with with the intake and stuff. 